So I saw this image on Twitter and shout out to the user. I genuinely found this to be hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. But as I stopped laughing and started to really think about what I saw, honestly, this image might be kind of true. Now I'm going to be posting this video on April 1st, but oh, I'm gonna let y'all know right now, I I'm not joking. Today we are gonna be looking at both Buggy and Sakuna and see where they are consistently within their respective verses and allow me to explain why this match is a topic and why I personally think it's not close. And not for the reasons you you probably think. Firstly, let's talk about the King of Curses before the future King of Pirates, because I feel like his scaling is a little more overrated. Ryom and Sukuna is a curse who not only reigned over the Heian period, but even after entering the modern era, he became the biggest force humanity has ever known. His way of dealing with his opponents is usually toying around, but when push comes to shove, he usually relies on one or two abilities. That being Cleave and Dismantle. Dismantle is just the basic cutting move that he uses for inanimate objects, while Cleave allows him to adjust the attacks to the opponent's durability and precisely cut them depending on their cursed energy output. He was shown the ability to use both in conjunction with one another, but that was a special case and done within his domain, which is a barrier created by his own cursed energy that essentially traps you in a space where Sukuna gets buffed and can get free attacks. Now Sukuna, unlike most domain users, has an open one, meaning it's refined and can just turn you into sliced meat instantly. But his greatest ability yet is Great Dismantle, which is just a big slash that can cut space itself. Which is an ability that Buggy probably has no answer to, I'm not gonna lie. Now, this version version of Sakuna is definitely stronger, but he wouldn't have factors like Maharaga who was a big help in taking down Gojo. So it's kind of weird to compare these two forms, but regardless, they both should be above the likes of both Jogo and Dagon who are capable of creating domain expansions that generate enough energy to destroy mountains. With Jogo literally making a mountain in his, and Dagon arguably could be higher, but since the calculations take the island size into account, I'm going with this. There are other ways to get Sakuna's AP higher, like saying he scales to Yuki's black hole, which um, you can you can go ahead and explain to me how he does because I don't know how he does. But I feel like that's super vague and Sukuna would probably just fart and die interacting with Yuki's black hole, but consistently Sukuna has feats that should put him higher than mountain level to potentially even island level. Things like special grade curses being able to overthrow a nation or Sukuna being able to destroy the world like realistically are really vague. And I want this video to be more of me looking at the consistency of the character scaling rather than giving them the benefit of the doubt. Anyway, I can now move on to speed, which is pretty weird when it comes to Jujutsu Kaisen. You either think that top tiers are reaching early mocks because of Maki's statement, or even go as far as to say Kashimo can shoot light speed attacks which Sukuna dodges point blank. And I'm not gonna lie, I disagree with both lines of scaling. The early mock stuff is kind of weird since Maki then goes on to cliff that version of herself with a suppressed Sukuna scaling to that Maki. And the light speed stuff is weird because the radio waves only move at light speed in a vacuum of space and Sukuna more than likely aim dodge Kashimo. But what I do believe is characters who are above that 15 finger level or even relative to that tier should probably be in that massively hypersonic range as characters like Maki, Toji, and Akari can at least somewhat react to lightning to a degree. And even as early as Maki in the Goodwill event, she was able to like point blank dodge bullets, so take that for what you will. I'm not gonna say Sukuna is light speed, but if you wanted to for this versus battle, it doesn't even matter anyway. But consistently, I do believe Sukuna, even in his weaker stages, should definitely be a lightning timer. Hopefully, I cleared up most misconceptions about Sukuna scaling, and most of you don't actually think he's planetary, which I, I have seen before. With that being said, let's scale not only just the King of Pirates, but the King of Frauds himself. Now, Sir Buggy is a character who's not usually looked at as powerful like Sukuna, and has his reputation for the opposite reasons as him, actually. He's a weak, lying weasel who suffers from success, but even despite this, Buggy has shown some underrated feats that you probably overlooked. We know that Buggy's Buggy Bomb did more damage than Luffy's Gear 2 Jet Pistol Punch against the Minotauros at Impel Down. This same Luffy, mind you, with one attack while super nerfed, was able to make a full-powered Moria spit his shadow and even tank his direct strikes. The same strikes that were threatening to destroy the entire island with a couple hits. And what's crazy is that Buggy has tanked his Buggy Bombs before, meaning he could 
probably take the same punches that Moria was throwing. This sounds ridiculous, I know, but when you especially consider where Buggy is currently at, he's more than likely going to survive something more outlandish than Moria's punches and prove what I'm saying even further. Now, when talking about speed in One Piece, there are three characters who are brought up, that being Enel, Kuma, and Kizaru. Enel is brought up since his power is that he's lightning, which multiple characters in the series react to blatantly. The same thing applies to Kuma with his lasers, and I say Kizaru since this mainly applies to top tiers, but in this case it actually does apply to Buggy specifically. Buggy scales to impel down Luffy, so he should scale to the feats Luffy's presented in earlier arcs like Skype and Sabaody, meaning he should scale above the lightning and even light dodging feats presented in pre-time skip. And to cement this, we even see Buggy not only reacting to Akainu, the strongest admiral, but he somehow perceives Kizaru's laser, who is the fastest admiral. Buggy's just him, bro. I, I don't know what to tell you. And I haven't even talked about Buggy's greatest strength, that being his abilities. After eating the chop chop fruit, he can detach his body to attack from any range along with essentially having flight. And Buggy due to already being chopped as well means he resists cutting attacks. No matter how many times you cut him, he will always be able to regenerate. Even Oda confirms this by saying he wouldn't necessarily die after being cut into tiny bits, but rather just lose control of himself. Buggy as well has his buggy bomb, which has a blast radius so potent that it can engulf entire city blocks and has weapons like knives to shank his opponents with. With the analysis done, let's discuss the fight scenario. Comparing the two stats, it's pretty clear that there is one very big gap between the two, and that's in specifically speed. Sukuna at best is faster than lightning and maybe light speed, which Buggy is scaling to pretty casually. Sukuna questionably dodges light while Buggy reacts to characters faster than light or scales to characters on this tier. And this is me being nice to Sukuna since realistically he should just get blitzed by characters in any lobby. Like you have to understand, Usopp was doing backflips on lightning bolts, you're gonna tell me Buggy can't do the same thing, especially after showing relativity to his captain? And regarding physical strength and who can hit harder, Buggy should technically be stronger than Sukuna. Sukuna is only reaching his tier of AP through his domain expansion. The best AP feat technically Sukuna has is him turning the city into ash, and again, you only get him relative to Buggy through his hacks and abilities. Buggy unironically has better AP and durability scaling, and what's worse is that Sukuna's only ability involves cutting attacks, which Buggy would resist. This dude is gonna be Maharaga with makeup on from Sukuna's POV as he sees bro walking through cleave and dismantle before getting hit with a rage and punch like he's in Brawlhalla. The best thing he can do is a great dismantle, which I think before he even thinks of using that, a buggy bomb will 100% engulf an atomized bro into dust. Like, the only way Sukuna could win is if he unironically has Maharaga or his domain out from the start and pretty much just uses his great dismantle. If you want to say Sukuna does this before Buggy does a Buggy bomb, I, 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 Sukuna wins. Unironically, Buggy would probably hit him with the Buggy bomb, tell bro to stand proud before then turning into a car and running him over. Captain Buggy! 